The James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, has once again stunned the scientific community. This time, it's not about a distant galaxy or an ancient star. It's something far closer, far stranger, and potentially far more important. Astronomers from NASA have just released the first ever real image of 31 ATLS, an object that has left scientists both amazed and deeply concerned. For months, 31 ATLS was little more than a mysterious blip in the data, a faint, fast-moving anomaly detected by ground-based telescopes in Hawaii and Chile. It was cataloged as a near-Earth object, but its movement didn't quite match anything known. Some thought it was a comet, others argued it was an asteroid. But when its path began to curve unexpectedly toward the inner solar system, scientists realized something didn't add up. So NASA decided to bring out the big guns, the James Webb Space Telescope. Launched to look deep into the origins of the universe, Webb was now being used to investigate something much closer to home. The telescope was redirected for a special observation window, its infrared sensors aimed at a faint, fast-moving object streaking through the dark. When the first images came through, silence filled the control room. There, against the blackness of space, appeared something unlike any comet or asteroid ever seen. It had a structured, symmetrical surface, almost metallic, with a faint glow around its edges. 31 ATLS was not a simple chunk of rock or ice. It looked engineered. NASA's lead astronomer on the project, Dr. Helena Ortiz, described the moment. At first, we thought it was a data glitch. The symmetry was too perfect. Nature doesn't usually build objects like this. When scientists enhanced the image, they noticed even stranger details, geometric patterns, faint lines that almost looked like panels or ridges, as if the object had a shell reflecting light in a way that suggested design rather than randomness. But the strangest part, the object wasn't tumbling like most asteroids or comets. It was rotating smoothly at a constant speed, as if controlled by something. Theories started spreading like wildfire. Some suggested it was a fragment of an alien probe, while others believed it might be a long-lost human-made satellite somehow deflected from its orbit. A few even whispered that it resembled the mysterious interstellar object Oumuamua, which passed through our solar system in 2017, but 31 ATLS was much closer, and its trajectory indicated it could be approaching Earth. NASA and the European Space Agency immediately launched a joint task force to monitor its path. The early projections suggested that it would make its closest approach to Earth in just a few months. Still, no one could predict what would happen next. As scientists began tracking its motion, something even more mysterious occurred. 31 ATLS appeared to accelerate, as though responding to something. No known natural force could explain it. Comets can gain speed due to outgassing when ice sublimates, but this object had no visible tail, no debris, and no thermal activity. Dr. Ortiz was cautious in her statement, but couldn't hide her astonishment. It's behaving like it knows we're watching. The phrase spread quickly across social media, Hashtag 31 ATLS began trending globally as amateur astronomers scrambled to capture their own images. Conspiracy theorists flooded the internet with claims of alien technology, secret missions, and cover-ups. Meanwhile, the scientific world remained both skeptical and fascinated. In a closed NASA briefing, leaked audio captured one official saying, if this thing changes trajectory again, we may need to prepare for contact. The idea sent chills down everyone's spine. For decades, humanity had searched the skies for signs of intelligent life. Could it be that the first real evidence was now orbiting within our own solar system? As days passed, the James Webb Telescope continued to send clearer and more detailed images. What once looked like a faint blur now appeared as a complex object, roughly 800 meters wide, with sharp, hexagonal structures on its surface. Spectral analysis showed materials that were not commonly found in natural asteroids, highly reflective alloys and traces of isotopes unknown to Earth. 
NASA tried to keep the information contained, but leaks were inevitable. Independent observatories confirmed what Webb had seen. Something artificial, or at least unnaturally made, was out there. Then came the real shocker. On August 29, the object emitted a brief pulse of electromagnetic radiation, perfectly tuned at a frequency that seemed deliberate, between the standard radio and microwave ranges, a band often associated with communication signals. The pulse repeated three times, then stopped. Web sensors caught it. So did the Deep Space Network. At first, scientists thought it was interference, but the signal pattern was too precise. It repeated in exact intervals, each burst lasting 1.31 seconds, the same number sequence as its designation, 31 Atlas. Coincidence? Hardly. In a press release, NASA cautiously admitted, we have detected non-random signals originating from the vicinity of Object 31-Atlas. Further analysis is ongoing. The world went into a frenzy. News outlets compared it to the WOW signal from 1977. But this was different. This was visual, measurable, and ongoing. Governments grew silent. The U.S. Space Command, along with European and Chinese agencies, classified much of the data. Webb's live stream feeds were restricted. Astronomers noticed that public databases suddenly stopped updating the telescope's coordinates for several hours each night. Something was happening, and no one was talking about it. But insiders began to leak hints. According to an unnamed ESA scientist, the Webb team had managed to decode part of the transmission. It wasn't a message in a language we understood, but rather a mathematical sequence describing spatial coordinates. Those coordinates pointed, not outward, but inward, toward the inner solar system, toward Earth. The signal wasn't random. It was a reply. By late September, the object changed its course once more, this time slowing down. Its new trajectory suggested it was entering a stable orbit near the L2 Lagrange point, the same region where the James Webb telescope itself was positioned. In other words, 31-Atlas had placed itself right next to Webb. When the telescope aimed its instruments toward the object again, the images were darker, blurrier, as if the object was somehow masking itself. Webb's infrared readings became erratic. Some frames even showed distortions, like gravitational ripples or localized energy surges. Then, for a full six hours, Webb went offline. No data, no images, no communication. When it came back online, NASA released only a brief statement saying there had been a temporary systems recalibration. But many experts weren't convinced. The timing was too coincidental. Dr. Ortiz later appeared on a small podcast and dropped a chilling hint. Let's just say, it's no longer out there alone. Her words fueled endless speculation. Had 31 Atlas deployed something? Had it made contact with Webb, or worse, interfered with it? Within weeks, other observatories began reporting unexplained light signatures near the L2 region. Faint but rhythmic flashes, synchronized in a repeating pattern. Astronomers called them echoes. Some believe it was the telescope itself responding. Others think 31-Atlas was communicating, testing our reactions. Today, NASA remains silent. The official line is that 31-Atlas is a naturally occurring near-Earth object with unusual reflective properties. But leaked internal memos suggest something else entirely. That Webb's final unedited images revealed structures within the object, like chambers or compartments. Was it a derelict probe? A remnant of an ancient civilization? Or perhaps something watching us, just as we've been watching the stars? Whatever 31-Atlas is, one thing is certain. The James Webb Telescope has seen something that challenges everything we know about our place in the universe. And maybe, just maybe, it has already started watching us back.